Hi, hello. So, good day. So, I'm here to present about the uh, importing of IFC to Tecla structures. So, just to tell you about a little background, IFC is the is a industry foundation classes. Uh, this is a 3D model from uh, different uh, 3D software such as uh, Archicad, AutoCAD, Revit, MicroStation, Naviswork, and other 3D uh, software which is uh, uh, can produce IFC model. So Tecla is also one of the software that can produce or export IFC. So right now uh, we are uh, on importing IFC from other software. So this uh, this uh, for, this uh, course is uh, how to import IFC to Tecla. So we will use the IFC from Revit. So uh, I got the Revit file and then convert it to IFC using the uh, web website web base uh, Revit to IFC conversion. Um, I will uh, show it. In, uh, I will show it in the link below. Uh, and then. Um, Okay, so let's start. So when importing IFC, we can go to uh, this uh, reference model. Just click the reference model and then you have this add model. Click the add model and we have that pop up uh, window, which is uh, uh, this is the pop up window for the for importing uh, IFC. Okay, just browse the file. So for me, I have uh, browsed my files. For example, I just use this uh, file, for example. So then uh, for the look, for the group, I, since I just, I will just to import one, one IFC, then no need to create a group. But if you have multiple uh, building in a single model or multiple, uh, uh, IFC in a single model, you can group it, for example, group architectural group, MEP group, like that. So you can, you will not be confused with your models, okay? Then um, for the model and origin, so we have just to use this model. So we have no information or no about, you don't know how or what is the location of the said IFC. So for the offset, we just pick this one, for example, uh, here. Okay, then uh, for the scale model, then I think uh, most of the IFC that, is, as, that has been modeled in 3D software are one is to one scale. So, okay, that's it. Then just click add. And then just wait for, uh, for a moment. And then, um, okay, sorry. Oh, where is it? Okay, just wait for the moment and then. Um, okay, it's already here. So we have already exported. So we don't know the location, the exact location of the model because we are not. Uh, but, but what we will do is just right click this one and click fit to work area in the entire model. So. Yeah, I already fit this entire model and just turn this on and off so we can see our uh, model, our IFC model. Okay, it's here. So we just control this one. And for example, here, just move this. Sorry, move this one from here. So it's taking so long. <laughs> Okay, just move it uh, on this uh, location. Okay, so let's uh, see uh, what what will be the the actual image of our IFC. Okay, so to to, uh, to move IFC, just uh, just like an ordinary uh, movement, just right click, then you can move. Then uh, you can copy or rotate or mirror the IFC. So right now, uh, I would like that my IFC would be uh, 
it aligned with my screen, okay? So just, I will just have to um, uh, create a angle of location of, of rotation, for example, here. So we just uh, set the, I, I mean, uh, we have just to check the angle of rotation so we can uh, rotate this uh, uh, FC, okay? So let's see, so for example, Okay, you have to measure the rotation. So to here, it's seven, uh, seven degree. Okay, then we have just to rotate this one, move, rotate, and then to rotate it by negative seven, or sixty-four, eight and four. Okay, then uh, the location of the or the pivot. Of the locate of the rotation will be here zero zero then just click move okay sorry it's a wrong it's a wrong one um, just undo it and then it's positive okay and then uh here we have this uh we have already this uh ifc uh, as a reference to in modeling of steel st steel structure and other or concrete structure and other uh, architectural uh, structures or architectural uh, model. So we can easily uh, move this one, and we can uh, we can move, for example, the location along x, along y, and along z. So also, if your uh, model if you want to, if you want this IFC model to be reusable or you can, can be used using Tecla native profiles, then you we can have uh, to convert this model into native Tecla uh, model. Okay, how to do that? Just click this uh, IFC, then just go to manage, uh, manage, then look for convert IFC objects. Then, okay, it's already processing. So sometimes uh, there's there is uh, some uh, advantages or disadvantages of using this one. So, for example, some common uh, models such as uh, walls, slab, uh, columns are can be converted into Tecla uh, native model, but some other uh, models such as uh, balustrade uh any uh, not uh, common uh, common uh, profile in tecla it cannot be converted but uh, it will be converted but not the usual profile okay so it's here uh the, the converted the model so just turn off the ifc okay and then uh, just to make it redraw so as you can see, we have already some walls, slab, and other uh, other um, image or other members which can be used in modeling of this uh, of this structure. So right now, uh, for example, this slab. So as you can see, uh, the slab is. Uh, let me see. Okay, for example, this lab, if you double click this lab, uh, you, you you have just a, just a concrete panel. This is the naming for uh, architectural model. So it's up to us if we will, if we will reuse this uh, slab or walls or other uh, structural elements for this model. Uh, okay, thank you very much. And I hope you learn about how to how to uh, import IFC model uh, here in Tecla. Okay, for your question, you can comment below and or send me an, an email so I can, uh, I can answer it as soon as I can uh, have or have your question. Thank you very much and have a good day.